Madam Clerk has made note of that, and that will be agreed to. Christine Carter? Yes, ma'am. You a probable cause charging affidavit that charges you with lewd behavior with the child, uh, and I do find probable cause. I will point the office. Well, actually, this indicates that you don't qualify for the office of public defender, sir. Raise your right hand to be sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. So this affidavit that I'm looking at says that you have take-home pay of about $55,000 a year, correct? Say that again? It says you have take-home pay after taxes of about $55,000 a year? Um, that's the calculation I made for this year. For a year, we were doing, because I'm self-employed, I, I was doing well, but I'm um, based on... Um, Finances I'd see him this year. All right, so you get you're in jail right now. Do you get any money while you're in jail from your job? No, ma'am. What I do is, um, just yes or no. Oh, okay. No, ma'am. All right, and you have VA benefits of $2,500 a month that you're receiving? Yes, ma'am. And um, 13 something for schooling, but that ends in um, when this semester ends, which should be end of this month. All right, that's the $1,300 you're referring to? Yes, ma'am. All right, based on his verbal testimony, I will find that he, he's got debts of $10,000. If he's incarcerated, he's not hurting the income uh, currently. Um, so I will find that he does qualify for the services of a court appointed attorney and I'll appoint the Office of the Public Defender to represent him. Thank you. With respect to, to the charge, sir, of rude or lascivious uh, behavior or molestation, State wish to be heard. Is this, uh, I don't think it's a dangerous crime. Uh, that is correct. We would be motioning the court um, to help the defendant no bond at this time under um, Florida Statute 907-0415D. We would be motioning for a pre-trial to deny your request. I'm going to step on, uh, given the, what I'm reading in the probable cause charging affidavit. And I'm going to step on, sir, uh, in a sum of $7,500 with special condition that you have no contact whatsoever with a listed victim. That means no contact whatsoever. Directly or indirectly, you will not return uh, to the scene of the offense. You'll maintain separate residences. In other words, you won't be living with the child. Do you understand that? Oh. All right, thank you. 
Your Honor, I mean, he's just requesting a one-time return with law enforcement to get his things. I'll grant that a one-time return. Thank you, Your Honor.